Hi friends, what's this Kinter window? Here you have created buttons dynamically and each button has its own option. So all these buttons are dynamically created. So still we can manage it, manage the options by changing the background colors or by changing the, even selectively we can change the font size. All the options of the button we can manage it. We'll learn how we'll change this background color on click of another button for all the dynamically created buttons. This is our blank template we will be using. We are importing Kinter here. Then at line number 2, we have created the parent window. So this parent window we will be using. Then at line number 3, the geometry, the width and height, you can change it as per your requirement. So for first, we will declare a fund because a different fund style we are using. Instead of declaring for each and every button, let's create a variable or a tuple with using the different uh, font styles. So first one, what you will give is, is the fund family you can change it to whatever you want. The size is I am giving it 14 and style is bold. You can change to underline or italic whatever you want. So <coughs> font is declared. Now we'll place the dynamically created buttons. All we'll place 10 buttons created on the flyer dynamically. So for that one variable I am in uh, this is the column value I'll set it. So variable is 0. Now next line for i in range. Now up to 10 means it will end at 9. So it will start from 0, the i value and it will end at 9. So here now let's add the button. Button equal to tk dot button. Now my parent window my underscore w. So these buttons are dynamically created inside the loop. So text. Now what text I will write it is I want just 1, 2, 3, 4 like that it is to be written. So for that I can write i but i is a integer so before writing I must convert it to a string so I will put it here so it, this is uh, now it is there now okay my main thing is I have not I added the font font equal to okay, I have to come out of this font equal to font 1 so this font 1 what you have declared it at line number 5 here so that I am associated uh, with this now let's place it on a grid so btn or the button dot grid inside the loop so one by one one by one it will be creating so i'll put row equal to zero and column equal to var why var because var will first take the value zero we'll increment it again because uh, here the row will remain constant and the column value will increase one by one so first button next button will be right of it so column will increase towards right so one by so its value will increase by one slightly pad x equal to six now pad y sorry it's pad y i will give 30 it's not pad x i am giving uh, uh, okay pad y i will give it equal to yeah 30 so now that's all this leaves uh, this completes my button but i have not added a, a click button for this for that that also i will add then we can uh, check it up so i'll just go out here now let me just place my second button bk equal to tk dot this button when i click it the function should work so or uh, i'll change the background colors my underscore w now text equal to i am saying update green whatever text you want you can write it so what should be my background okay this this is in material for the script actually i am giving light green so just to say that some com some things will change to green now now let me add the command so what will happen when i click this button this is what i will i will call a function here and inside that i will be uh, updating the background options of all the buttons so i that is the main purpose so i am writing it my update this function i have so far not written i will write it that so let me come and place it on a grid now b1 now dot grid so where it will be row equal to one because row zero all the series of buttons you can see here row zero we have created so next to it so row equal to one and column equal to zero now column this actually button will 
column span will give because let it otherwise what will happen it will take the width of the first uh, button which is very narrow so i am giving column span or more so pad x equal to 10 and pad y from the top it also it let it maintain the gap of 10 so here it is but i have not given the i had to create the update function i will write that because i have calling it here uh, once it is clicked so i am let me first define the function my update this function will be called and i right now i am sorry pass so right now i am not coding it anything but here inside this function i will write it now so far this is the where our layout is over let's just see how this looks so any error is there or not we'll see yeah here it is but or for i in range why one button only is coming okay let's just see mm, where is zero for i in range of 10 i in range 10 button button my text where this oh sorry because i have not given the incremented the where value where equal to where plus one though it is created but it has to next button will be in right of it because i have to increment the column value that is the reason so let me run it again yeah you can see it all the buttons of up to 0 to 9 is created once i click this the color is, i can access the option of this dynamically created button and change the background color we'll move up a bit and here inside our function we'll write the code so first what we'll do let's list out all the wizards in the because all buttons are there so let's list out all the wizards in available in our application so for wgd this is the variable i am declaring wizards that you can write anything in my underscore w is my parent in uh, window then we w info ch all children so that means now it will loop through and create all means it's it's give me a list of all the widgets available so i can access that so i am writing an application you can whatever this for understanding so now it is the loop is loop starts inside the loop i can whatever i can access one by one the first loop or the first step the one will come next another next another like that it will come so what i am doing here is if but i had to change this okay if now what happened wgd the first wizard what is the option text option say i am saying this equal to 5 now what happened 5 because it's a string so i will say it's 5 because it's a string again then you change the background color gd now bg 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 equal to now change it to light green fine so this is if text equal to 5 then change the background color that's all that is how this should now let me just see how this works so you just understand i am picking up all the wizards and finding out whose text is equal to 5 you just noted this 5 this text is a string because though it is a digit you have written but it is actually a string and so the, at that i am it's a comparison operator not a equal to operator it's comparing with 5 and then i am checking if it is matches then you do that let's just see how this works so i am just uh, running this sorry my previous window was not closed let me close this so yeah here it is now update green you can see the fifth one got changed its background color but that's not my purpose i will try to access others also we'll change this line if condition we are saying that if the widget uh, text is divided by two or it's a even number then one color otherwise another color but one thing is when we are uh, modulus we are taking we have to use the integer because we can't use a text when you are taking a ratio here so this part and i am giving the 2 equal to 0 so here i will change it to 0 means it's a even number so i am converting by int will convert to integer this value now if it is fine if it is a, a integer a divided divisible by 2 then this else otherwise now you change to some other color 
so that way all and uh, even and odd we can differentiate so background bg the background that option we are ac accessing and we are saying light green light sorry light pink we will differentiate between these two so this is how but here is one issue because it picks up all the buttons it will pick up the button which says update green that button also so that we can't change it to a integer because it's a text only other things that there are buttons there is a number only here in this case that is a text so that will generate the error message okay let's see that what happens with, with this and then we will try to suppress that error message also so here it is now i will update green Okay, all things are uh, odd and even whatever I want that has happened, but there is a value error because invalid for the interior with base 10 update green because it can't change it. It can't change the text here to because this particular line is creating the issue. So what we will do, we will keep it inside a try and exit block. These code blocks are used to handle the errors. We don't want to give a error here. What we will do, we will put it inside a try block. So everything I have to remove it little up if then next here then this else also I will move inside that this also so fine now what happens it will try for a, a it will search means once there is an error it will skip that one then I, I will put a except but inside except if you want to give a message give it because here messages are irrelevant so we'll say that pass it so if there is a if this there is no error then if there is an error then pass it go to the next one so like that we can continue so let's just run this and see there will not be any difference in the output output will remain same but there is no error you can see here that's all this is how we'll manage the options of a button and uh, next we'll move to another demo also so you can understand the better functionality of this uh, uh, wizards inside a window and all and the key here is note that this info children it picks up all the wizards used and suppose you have some text box also or some entry box you want that to be given a different color that also can be done based on what type of wizard that time one more if block and we can compare it and accordingly change the background so that's all friends I uh, will request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you will be notified as and when we add new new tutorials. We frequently do that also. And if you have any doubts, suggestions, questions, use the comment section below to post it. Thank you for watching.